Hey YouTube, you know what it is, your boy DJ Cool Thing. Welcome back to another video on my channel, and let's roll that intro. Okay, YouTube, we made it to the desktop of the mid-2012 13-inch MacBook Pro, and we are going to be talking about this application right here, DJ Pro for Mac. You might remember DJ Pro for the iPhone, but you not know is that when Mac OS Big Sur came out not too long ago, there was an update to Algorithms DJ and now there's Neural Mix and you know there is no Spotify uh, logo yeah there's no icon for Spotify anymore there is um, the music app um, you know my iTunes purchases I no longer have Apple Music so I use iTunes purchases along with Tidal where I can just scroll through my explore, my own playlist, videos, you know, I can just play whatever, you know, I want to play. And there's um, SoundCloud, we have a SoundCloud Go Plus subscription, we have a, a Beatport link, so you can even show BeatSource link as well, so that's what we're going to do for the sake of this video. So what's really cool is you can, um, I guess, remove, um, yeah, you can always remove services that you know, that you don't use and, you know, keep the one that you do use. And right here is where you do that. You can, I'm going to take off SoundCloud, Beatport Link, and BeatSource Link since I don't use those. I use Tidal. And of course, you got your File Explorer, your videos, your uh, Beat Source link, Beatport link, SoundCloud, Tidal, your own personal library. You still got that split screen where you can um, drag and drop your music into here if you have it on iTunes or Tidal or whatever. So. This app really gives the beginner DJ a good enough start because you, know, you get that split screen view with um, the playlist. Um, you can build you can build playlists from your streaming library as well as your own personal library. Add your files into there, build your own playlist, and build up your own library. All that kind of stuff. I just think that's really neat. I actually might do that. I might drag and drop my uh, media you know, files onto the Mac. So, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go to these dots. I'm going to take off SoundCloud, Beatport, BeatSource, and just keep the ones I do use on a daily basis. And that's basically what I use. I use uh, my own personal uh, iTunes purchases. You know, it's 2020 and I still buy music from iTunes. And of course, like, I use my title from time to time, I got my Lacey hard drive, which I'm getting ready to add those to my files and build playlists and this, that, and the other, and just have my own library right here. I can scroll through whatever I want to scroll through using my DDJ SR2. And right here you got your music, yeah, you get your library, you get your cue, your match, history of songs I've listened to and of course you get your auto mix if you are stepping away you can actually build up a playlist you can build up a set for your auto mix if you have to step away from the uh, DJ booth for whatever reason you can put on an auto mix it's great for a lot of mobile DJs 
So there's a lot of DJs who would actually use this app. As you probably see here. We're going to take this off. We're going to hide all this. Except for the waveforms. So you can actually hide everything. I, I just think it's really cool. You got your master volume, your pre queuing microphone, recording, um, your loops, your neural mix. So if you're not paying for it, you can actually, uh, you know, hide it until you know you're ready to pay for it. Because it does cost six ninety nine a month, almost seven dollars a month. And of course, you get your effects, you get your. Um, yeah, you, you get your different um, cue points, your, your different samples, and of course, your different layouts Pro, Classic, One Deck, Auto Mix, Four Deck, and Video. You can also have it vertically or horizontally. I choose horizontally because that's what I'm used to with Serato. And you can change the position, top, center, and bottom. And of course you get your you can hide the jog wheels or you can keep the jog wheels. We're gonna keep the waveforms at the center. I mean this is what Serato looks like, but you know. You can take off the jog wheels if you wanted to take off the jog wheels. Makes it look like Serato. Almost. But because of this application, we're going to make it look, we're going to keep the position dead center. In the orientation, we're going to use the horizontal orientation. Of course, there's Pro, Classic, which is your, you know, your turntables, one deck for auto mixing, or there's your auto mix feature, which is kind of matured over time, you know, the auto mix feature. You get your four decks, one, two, three, and four. This is if you have a four deck controller or any two deck controller that supports the four deck mode, like my DJ SR2. You're, you got your video mode, which I you know is awesome. It's built right in. And I'm gonna keep it on the pro. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it on the pro layout. Since I have a DJ SR2, it's more of a professional controller. And you can load in any track that you want to. You know, it's as simple as just drag and dropping, it plays it. As you probably see here, um, it shows you the beats per minute, and, and that's another thing that changed. The jog wheels, with the BPM being much bigger, like if you want to put on, let's say, the Gambler, and there you go, it starts loading up, you can do whatever you want, you can do whatever you want with it, and that's what's really cool. Here's another thing that's cool. Your top right here, it's a lot smaller than the old one. The old one, I think it was, you know, really big, and it's kind of shrunk it down just a tad. So I can choose whatever song I want to play, and I can play around with, with DJ Pro. You got your, okay, you got the finder there, you got, you, got, you got your files, videos, title, along with SoundCloud, B-Port link, and beat source link, playlists, you got, you got your different library, like artists, albums, genres, and of course you can build playlists, which is basically what I'm going to do with my local library put them into playlists so it'll be easier to find. Instead of having to go through here, my files. So this is a very easy to use um, piece of software. It came out with the uh, Touch Bar MacBook Pro. And it's been a great application. It's kind of matured. This right here is um, I'm not sure what that one does. 
Okay, you have your um, sidebar here with um, auto mix and yeah, that's the auto mix. Sorry. So you got your auto mix feature, you get your main library feature, like your main library, your queue, your match. See, this is something that will really help out the professional DJ. This is what helps out the professional DJ. It really helps with mixing skills. If you don't know how to mix, then they give you songs that are very similar in a way. Currently playing, custom, you know, it's a lot easier to use, of course, right here's your history of songs that you played, keeps track of all the songs you played, and you still got your EQs, high, mid, and lows, your filter, and you got your different EQs, your neural, yeah, your EQ as well as neural mix, so it gives you a way to control the neural mix is by using this right here. So that's really cool. And this is what you get when you try to use a neural mix. That if you want to try it for free, but I'm not going to. I'm going to put this back on the EQ, the standard EQ with high, mids, and lows. So I'm going to use it in the standard layout here that I've been using for a very long time without the Neural Mix when it first came out. So the Neural Mix has matured with Algorithm DJ. So you can change the uh, beats per minute. You can, you know, center it. You can do a loop. There's a lot of things you can use. They give you the Neural Mix. Um, features, whether you know for knobs, so you can control it with your controller or your entire. So you can control it with your system or whatever you have. You know, it's amazing. Sync, which means if you're on your laptop and you don't have a controller, you can easily match your songs up, get them in. You know, in time with the same beats per minute and also the same key by hitting the key sync. So I'm going to keep the waveform. And to eject, you would have to go to deck 1, eject, and deck 2. Eject here in the menu bar. See with the menu bar you still got your help, your window, mini, library. So this is one thing that has changed about the menu bar. No longer it says log in or log out of um, Serato or Spotify. Yeah, Spotify. You also get your mixer, transition to inactive deck, transition to the left, transition to the right, transition style, fade, EQ, break, reverse, echo. So you can change your transition style, which is really cool, especially with a controller. Um, auto cut, curve, uh, crossfade curve, the default, linear, consistent power, dipped cut, different um, auto unit um, effects, pre queuing and microphone, your stuff for deck one, whether it's play, pause, reverse, repeat, break, backspin, um, BPM, key, effect, uh, effects. Cue points, looping, beat jump, EQ, duplicate, um, EQ, same thing with deck one, view, where you can change up your layout with its pro, classic, one deck, auto mix, four decks, and video, and of course you get a lot of, yeah, you get tons of control over your settings through this menu bar. Preferences and service, yeah, different stuff. Preferences, where it gives you the general, uh, 
of song loading, sync mode, tempo, play pause, looping, different devices where you can use your computer speaker or plug into a an external speaker or you know route the sound right to your controller, connect to your DJ system, mi uh, mixer, volume, auto mix, your different library settings, appearance, shortcuts, as well as advanced, where you can enable the Ableton link. I don't know what that does, but I, I bet it's pretty cool. So this is everything you need to know, or this is everything that is brand new inside of Algorithm DJ. But they did get rid of Spotify because of their licensing agreements, and they just couldn't stay on there for much longer. And we are heading into a whole new... Yeah, we're heading into a whole new generation of streaming music, going from the basic 320 kilobit per second to high quality streaming. But I like to use my local music, but I like to use streaming whenever I'm under a Wi-Fi network, under like my church as well as my house. So my house and my church, they both have good Wi-Fi connections and there are some places I DJ that I just don't have Wi-Fi at all or cellular data to connect my phone if I have a request. So this is where most of my music is going to be, my local music, along with my streaming music and you know my files. It's very easy to use so yeah, I think this is a great secondary app for a lot of professional DJs and a lot of um, intermediate DJs. And it's a really good application for the beginner DJs out there. So a lot of pro DJs can use this as their main piece of software or use it as a secondary app. You know, it's a great application. It's called Algorithm DJ. And of course you get your Neural Mix, which is $6.99 a month. And of course, you get your basic um, features that you see in almost every piece of DJ software, and you get your crossfader. And I cannot wait to test this out and see how it is with the DDJ SR2 from Pioneer DJ. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. Make sure you leave a positive comment down in the comment section down below. And with that said, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.